Nintendo is so crazy, I gotta be careful with this, but it's way too good not to share with you, and it's way too good not to talk about. What's going on everybody, it's Zach from Switch Force, breaking news, we've got a new Nintendo first party character, and we know all the games in the upcoming mega hit. This is, man, some of the stuff I'm seeing right now, some of the stuff you can be seeing, mmm. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, there's Nintendo Ninjas to the left of us and Nintendo Ninjas to the right of us. We're stuck in the middle, but we got to have this conversation. Everybody wants to switch drops on June 30th. That's coming up real quick. Nobody knows what the heck this game is about. Nobody knows what the heck this game includes. Um, but we now do. We now do. And it's not from Nintendo. It's from a display case. Now, I, I don't know. Like I said, Nintendo gets real shysty with this kind of stuff. So... I'm not going to show it to you, but I will put a link in the description to one of my favorite video game message boards. They're talking about the direct hype. Um, you might want to check it out. It might be cool to, to read along while I'm talking about something different. You know, it might be, it's just fama boards. It's just like the, the Nintendo, like, I don't know. You might, you might want to, you might maybe click on it. See, I don't know. Give it a click. Anyhow, MC Horus. Do you know who that is? <laughs> it's this guy, MC Horus is his name it says it on the back of the box and uh his quote is hey but h-a-y i'll take the reins and be your host yeah baby this is one cool hot dog of a host mc horace uh there's 16 weird and wild games now this is very strange because one two switch had like 28 i think so we're basically cutting it in half now, granted, these games could be better, bigger, and they're playable with up to 100 players, as it says in the back, because, you know, people can sort of, like, tune in, log in. Interestingly, though, it doesn't say online play, so I don't know, I guess they're not counting, like, device online play as online play. You can probably only play with people locally on your Switch, and then people that tap in, I guess, I don't know. If you got 100 friends that can log in at their cell phone, like, more power to you. I think I've got like two. I could probably play this with like six people. Uh, up to eight players on Joy-Con, up to 100 players. And let's just get into some of the games. Um, we have 18 images on the back of the box. So this is probably every single game plus two goofy ones. I'm gonna start off with my favorite game where Nintendo asks the important questions. The big, you know, the earth defining ones. Like what's the meaning of life? Okay, why are we all here? What happens after we pass? Nintendo wants to know, the month after May is September, and there's like a check mark or an X, and you gotta pick with the Joy-Con left or right. What are you going with? Is the month after May September, or is it not? Is your world being rewritten before your eyes, or is this the best Brain Age clone that we've ever seen? Now, let me remind you that there is an ABC warning on the back of Everybody Wants to Switch. If you don't know what that means, that means that you need a basic ability to read to fully enjoy this game and it seems like if you can read you can probably answer their difficult questions i don't know maybe not everybody but i feel like i feel like this is nintendo really uh testing us the month after may is september okay on to the next game steak dinner literally no idea what this game is the first is obviously a basic quiz show the second is a steak dinner with a fork and a knife Maybe this is a motion controlled game, but at the same time, it can't be because if people can play online with their phones, they can't motion control that steak. They can't like cook that to perfection. So I don't know what this, I don't know what this game is at all, but it looks amazing. My second favorite game after the questions about the calendar, get your, get your calendars out. Everybody you got to call your friends like, <laughs> Hey, Hey Ruby, bring the calendar. Okay. We got it. We got trivia night up in here. The next game is uh, an ice cream game. It says, note the number of scoops ordered. So this is gonna be like a counting thing, like MC Horace is scooping out the ice cream and you gotta like quickly, how many how many scoops or a memorization type thing. It could be like an I Spy type game where you memorize how many scoops were ordered. Next up, we have one where people are standing like this. I don't think this is a game. I think this is just a picture of people enjoying the heck out of it. But what's strange here is again, this looks to be motion controlled. So maybe some of the 16 games cannot be played in with phones and actually now that i'm looking more deeply there is a fine print that says certain games only available in smart dice device mode which to me means that certain games oh yeah certain games only available in joy-con mode so this pose must be only available in joy-con mode then maybe the steak game is shaking the steak there's one where 
A team of a green UFO is sucking up green aliens, and a team of an orangish yellow UFO is sucking up yellowish aliens. I don't know what this is be would be like. Tap the aliens. It looks very basic. It looks very we. It looks very basic. Next up, we have what seems to be a giant balloon and two people standing holding like this. I'm guessing this is a balloon pumping game. Everybody loves that one. Everybody, everybody loves this. Get, get your friends together for some calendar questionnaire and then some balloon pumping action. There's actually a side picture that shows the balloons popping up and it's two dogs. The dogs are kind of cute. It looks like Paw Patrol. Maybe you're into that sort of thing. Uh, we also have what looks to be rabbits posing and it says counter. Now, it's like in like a comic book, like pow. So I'm thinking this might be like a fighting game or something where you have to pose and then counter the pose. The first rabbit is like vertical and the second rabbit is really bent with his hip out. Like, I don't think I can even do that pose. I don't have the flexibility in my hip flexors, but the rabbit is sure doing it. Uh, there's one that says, find the Joy-Con together. And then has like a picture of a Joy-Con facing like normal and one on its side. I don't know if this is like, hey, you have to line them up this way or if like, it might be hiding the Joy-Con in the room. I think there was a rumor about that, like hiding something in the room and then like the Joy-Con buzzes and you have to find it. So it's like, it's like spoons gone crazy. MC Horace is like, hey, while I'm chopping this carrot, find your controller. You can't continue this madness unless you do. Let me buzz it. I don't know if the HD rumble is meant for echolocation, but we'll check it out. There's a game that says use your smart device to bid, and someone is bidding $231,000 which I have to imagine is how much they want repaid to them after playing this game. Some sort of bidding game, I don't know. If it's like Price is Right, I'm down for that. Give me MC Horse instead of Bob Barker and, and we got a game, but I don't think so. There's one that says, shoot the color on the card. And it's a hand holding up a blue card. Shoot the color on the card. So this is some sort of like, you're shooting the color, but the, the weird thing is the card is all blue. I can't even possibly begin to tell you what this one is. There's one that says 26, 28, 29, and it looks like it's on like a scale. I'm gonna have to like zoom, let me see, I'm gonna have to zoom like way in on this one. <laughs> enhancing, enhancing, enhancing. I gotta see what the heck this is. So it looks like a scale. There's something that says like zero slash one, and then L, and probably aren't. Maybe it's not a scale, maybe it's like a pressure thing. Maybe you're trying, or maybe it's a lock. Okay, maybe it's a lock and you're trying to unlock. I don't know why they skipped 27. That feels incredibly arbitrary. But it says 26, 28, 29, 0 slash 1, and then there's another 0. And it kind of looks like a, a master lock. So maybe it's some sort of unlocking. Um, there's a picture of four people standing around. One dude seems to be like having his arms like this and one like this. And they kind of look like they're in a gym. It looks like there's a treadmill. So I'm guessing this is running in place. We had sort of something like that in, in, in uh, regular 1-2 Switch genius minigame. Um, there's also one where people are at a musical chairs party and they're like, ah, oh! so it's definitely, there's balloons and uh, streamers. It's definitely musical chairs. Chairs not provided. Man, this game is expensive. You gotta pay $30 for this mess. You have to endure MC Horace. You have to get your own chairs and your own friends. What What is this even about? Um, there's another one that looks like a, a racing track, like a velodrome or whatever those things are called, like an indoor racing track. And I'm guessing it's just like running again. I don't know if this is, perhaps this is a different screen from the, the treadmill game, but it does seem like the treadmill game has totally different outfits and a totally different feel than this like racing around the track game. So maybe this one's with your arms and the others with your legs. I can't, that's definitely too many games. Um, there's one with a freaking jump rope. <laughs> it says once everybody pulls off. <laughs> once everybody pulls off. I swear that's what it says. Once everyone pulls off, it looks like Hot Rope Jump from Mario Party, except with, with you. I'm guessing you have to hold the Joy-Con down. It looks like that, and then jump at the same time. Genius freaking minigame. This one's Joy-Con only. Don't invite your friends online. This one gets really wild and, and crazy. Once everyone pulls off, I don't know what they're meaning. Or maybe they're pull. What could they be pulling out? There's a bike, balloons, and what looks to be a jump rope, and everyone's standing like this. It has to be jumping over the rope, but I don't understand what once everyone pulls off, once everyone pulls off a, oh, once everyone pulls off a jump, maybe? I don't know. Maybe they're just trying to make you feel really good. Uh, I'm looking back at month after May, September. There's a picture of a person by a tree, and then there's like concentric circles in front of the tree, 
and little like balls, little bubbles. It almost looks like little capsules you get out of a machine. It says like three to three. I think the person looks like they're shaking the tree and things are falling and you're trying to get them to fall on certain sides. Maybe this is like their version of Pachinko. <laughs> Like, I don't know, but it looks like the, it looks like the human player, like the, the one, two switch, like goofy thing is shaking the tree and capsules are falling down. And then it says three to three and there's three, well, there's three capsules on the left and four on the right. So maybe you're just like counting good things. I don't, I don't know at all. Then there's one that looks like fencing or samurai warfare. There's four samurai on the left and four samurai on the right. And they're all holding their swords. I don't know if this is going to be like a fake sword fighting game, but that's basically like a much worse version of what's already in Switch Sports. So that seems completely crazy. And there you have it. That's 16 games from everybody want to Switch. That's the game. Which of those sounds super exciting to you? Which of those sounds like you want to play the most? Do you want to play the one that is 26, 28, 29 and has lock mechanic? Do you want to play the one that is find the Joy-Con in the room? Maybe you want to play the rabbit counter game where he's bending his hips in a way that I don't think I can do. Perhaps you want to count the number of scoops ordered. Maybe you want to jump over the rope and try to pull off a jump once everyone pulls off. Maybe you want to figure out the months of the year. Which one comes after May? Only MC Horace knows. Perhaps you want to shoot the color on the card. The whole card has color. I don't understand that one. Maybe you want to shake a tree. Do you want to be summoned into a UFO? Perhaps you want to blow up a balloon. If any of these things sound absolutely incredible to you, you can do all of them in Everybody One to Switch for $30 releasing on June 30th. I don't think Nintendo will advertise this at all. I'm quite accepting the possibility that this game comes out and no one knows what you do until you pick up the back of the box and until MC Horus hypnotizes you into thinking this game is remotely acceptable. This thing looks like a disaster and I couldn't be more excited. This is going to be a good $30 spent. If, if you and I can go to Enter the Spider-Verse for 30 bucks and have a great time, I think that 30 bucks is worth having an unforgettable time. Everybody want to switch looks incredible. 16 weird and wild games. Play with your friends in the room. Play with your other friends on their phone in the room. Mix the games up. Count the scoops. Understand the months of the year. And make sure everybody pulls off. Until next time, everybody, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Switch Force. <laughs> no, MC Horus. Out.